So I'm here with Di Green. Um, welcome back to the UK team. It's been it's nice to see you. It's been a while, Di. It certainly has. It's been a long, long five years. <laughs> and not just that, but you've been voted team captain. So that's nice that your teammates are really supporting you. Yeah, that was quite a surprise, to be honest. Um, I don't know everybody on the team, and because I haven't been in this situation for a while, I was surprised to to get the nod into it. Uh, you know, more than happy, and I wanted to step up. Yeah. Cool. So um, obviously, you've been world champion, European champion, Commonwealth cha champion, Diamond League champion, Continental Cup champion, um, fourth at the Olympic Games, and then we haven't seen you really around at all since 2013. And you only ran two races, I think, since 2015. So what's been going on with you? Yeah, sadly, I had a, a couple of hernia operations in 2013. It meant that I had to have a couple more in 2014 and 2015. <laughs> and then the fallout from that meant that it scuppered my 2016 and 17 season. Uh, the worst of which meant that I had uh, 9 to 12 months of no running in 2017. So what I'm doing now... Cool. Um, and how are you feeling now? Any any injuries, any problems at all? Uh, I've been pretty good all season. I picked up a little niggle a few weeks ago at the uh, was it World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, but I seem to be getting on top of that. But um, yeah, some days are good, some days are not. So hopefully it'll be all right by the time we get to the start line. Cool. Um, so you've come back this year, you're UK champion. Um, and what a year to choose to come back to the 400 hurdles. The, your event's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, as, a, as somebody who does the event, I can you know, fully appreciate what they're doing. It's incredible. And I've always believed that if I could have run 47.8 as, as a PB, then I know somebody can run faster because mm -hmm. I don't consider myself the fastest athlete mm -hmm. out there. Technically, I'm, I'm pretty good, but uh, I know that somebody with more raw speed and pace will, uh, you know, can run a lot quicker. So it's nice to see a few people doing that at the moment. Um, and yeah, I look forward to being able to, being able to race those guys um, you know, either this season or next season. We will be racing Carsten Warham here, hopefully. Um, what are your expectations for this championships? And what would, at the end of the week, what would you go away happy with? Well, coming into the champs, I was hoping to try and get to the final. Um, I'm ranked 13th, but at the same time, there's not much between us yeah, and really the close. top five. It's very close in my event. Um, so I know that I have to pretty much run a season's best or to guarantee that. Um, so yeah, and get through the semi-final, put in a season's best performance, ideally, and uh, give myself the best chance of being in that final, and then I'll be content. Well, good luck. Welcome back, and let's see more in the future. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks a lot.